The origin story of VS Code. Yeah, that's that's a good one. So there's a talk that Eric Gamma, who is the, the guy who created it originally, way back in the day with a team that he gave called VS Code an overnight success 10 years in the making. And the origin of VS Code is that Eric and his team originally set out to build an editor that would run in, in the browser. And this editor was called the Monaco Editor. And you can still find this on GitHub. It's still out there. And it was used in several places. I believe it was in Azure, in like App Service, and some other places where you could edit the code uh, of your projects right from within the browser. And then at some point, they wanted to bring it to the desktop. And because it was a web application, they used Electron. And Electron is sort of a, a, a native shell in which you can run a web application so that it runs as if it's a, a native application on your machine. That's how VS Code runs today on your desktop. And in fact, you can open the developer tools from the command palette in VS Code and see all of the markup, CSS, et cetera, that's actually powering that. Because originally, it was supposed to be an editor that ran entirely in the web. Well, fast forward to today, and VS Code now runs on the web in VS Code.dev and is actually the thing that powers GitHub Code Spaces. So we sort of come full circle in the 10 years from an editor that runs entirely in the web to one that runs on your desktop and then now fully in the web. So check that out, VS Code.dev or GitHub Code Spaces. And that's the origin of Visual Studio Code.